Now in the second chapter of Daniel, it is so full of rich content that richly applies to our life. In fact, in our little time together in Daily in the Word, I won't even begin to cover it all. I'd encourage you to check out our website at coastlinegolfbreeze.com as we've covered this book in great detail. And if you'd like to get more out of Daniel too, check that out. But for this morning, let me share one simple point. You know, the chapter opens with Nebuchadnezzar having this dream that he doesn't understand. He gets all of his wise men together and they too recognize that this kind of wisdom, this kind of dream is beyond them. So they began to seek the man of God, Daniel. And it reminds me of something. I don't know about you, but as I walk through life, I constantly face situations where I go, Lord, I don't know what to do, but my eyes, my eyes are on you. And it reminds me of this verse from the book of James chapter one. Let me read it to you starting in verse five. It says this, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But listen to this, verse six, but let him ask in faith with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For not let that person suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He's double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. This is what that means. When you seek the Lord, if you're really looking for wisdom, be willing to act upon it. See, why would God give someone wisdom if he knows that the person's just gonna take it under consideration? They'll process it, they'll pray about it. See, I think the Bible's saying, a guy like that who doesn't really wanna learn, doesn't really wanna listen, well, expect that person not to receive anything from the Lord. But the one who humbly comes to God and says, God, we don't know what to do. Our eyes are on you, help us. God will always be present willing and able to help. So today, seek the Lord, but do it in a genuine way. Not just to know, but to begin to go and follow him. <laughs>